fighting continues in the north of Ukraine's Kharkiv region. It became known that in the Staritsia area, Russian invaders attempted to increase the number of personnel, but Ukrainian armed forces soldiers thwarted their plans by delivering precise strikes on enemy manpower and equipment concentrations, the Kharkiv Operative Tactical Group reported on its official Telegram channel. In addition, representatives of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that the enemy planned to carry out a rotation in Hlybok in the north of the Kharkiv region and is also searching for additional routes of movement. After significant losses, the Russian military refuses to carry out orders and combat missions the Ukrainian Kharkiv Operational Tactical Group claims. At the same time, the Ukrainian military telegram channel emphasizes that the situation in the Kharkiv direction remains quite difficult. The enemy continues to regularly storm the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces. Let us add that in the frontline town of Volchansk in the Kharkiv region, Russian occupiers carried out a single movement of personnel. According to the OTG Kharkiv, this was done for the purpose of providing logistical support as well as replenishing losses incurred during the fighting. There is an increase in the use of shells produced by the North Korea by the Russian army, the Ukrainian military emphasized. According to the armed forces of Ukraine, the enemy's losses in the Kharkiv direction increases. Major of the National Guard of Ukraine, a veteran of the Russian-Ukrainian war, Oleksiy Hetman, has suggested whether Russian forces will be able to force the Oskil River in the Kharkiv region. We can assume that they will be able to reach it. Let's remember, we talked about this six months ago, a year ago, where the largest grouping of Russian troops was concentrated. The smallest number was in the Bakhmut direction in the middle, and the largest number was in the Volodar direction, up to 150,000, and in the Kupiansk Lyman direction, up to 150,000. That's why they have added more troops there today, and they tried to reach the Oskil River. But it is in these areas that my brothers are fighting. They assume that the Russians will be able to reach the Oskil River, but they do not assume that the Russians will be able to force it, he said. Oleksiy Hetman noted that in addition to the natural fortress in the form of a ridge, there is a reliable defense there. Aerial footage of Treasure Island shows piles of debris left after Hurricane Helene struck the Florida city and mostly empty roadways as the area braces for Hurricane Milton. The city is still reeling from the devastating flood and wind damage from Helene. 
Steady rain fell and winds began to gust in the Tampa Bay area Wednesday morning as a mighty Hurricane Milton churned toward a potentially catastrophic collision with the west coast of Florida. Major bridges around Tampa Bay planned to close in the afternoon, she said, and public shelters were open for evacuees.